Hi there. In the previous video, I was able to show you how you can apply for a KRA PIN certificate for an individual. In this video, I want to show you how you can apply for a KRA PIN certificate for a group, a CBO, or an association. But before that, you need to have a few things. First, you need the email address for the group. You need the constitution for the group. You need the certificate for the group. And also you need the carry pins for the uh, main office bearers, that is the chairperson, the secretary, and the treasurer. You might also need their IDs, although that's not a must. And then you need uh, the minutes for the group, at least for two sittings. Once you have those documents, you need to have them zipped in one folder because you are only allowed to upload one file. Once you zip the documents, I want you to come to Chrome and search for itax.kra.go.ke, then click on register. Then this will load, click here and choose non-individual, then choose online form and click next. And then give it a moment. This will load. I want you to change the business type to others. Okay. Click others, then come here and choose club, society or association. Then the business registration certificate number, it's already on the certificate for the group. So make sure that you write what is provided on the certificate and the characters might not fit here, but don't worry, you just write up to when it is full and then they will confirm from the zipped folder that you're going to be uploading on this website. So then I'll come here and write the name of the group, which is uh, Marafiki. Okay, sorry, Marafiki, that is KI. And then I will add self-help group. Okay, just like that, self-help group. All right, then uh, after that, the next thing I want to do is to uh, type in the registration date, which is found on the certificate. So just confirm with your certificate and write the right date, which was on 18th August 2009. And then the business commencement date, I'm going just to write the same date. Um, that is 18th. Oh, sorry, sorry. It should be 18, not 108. Okay, one eight, and then uh, okay. Sorry again, what's not happening? One eight slash zero eight slash two thousand and nine, and then I will come here and put the accounting period end month that is June, and then I will scroll down here, and uh, okay, just a minute. Okay, yeah. So I'll say, does your business have any branches? No. Okay. And then do you wish to declare legal representative? Again, no. And then I'll move here. The building, I'll put the name of my cyber. So I'm going to write Euro Productions as cyber. All right. Then the street, let me put Kakamega. Really? No. Let me put Shinyalu, just like that. Then the city, I'm going to put there Kakamega. And then the county, of course, it is Kakamega. Then the district is Kakamega East District. Then the area is Kakamega East. Scroll down and then I'll put the postal code, which is 5107 for Shinyalu. And then put the PO box, which is 71. Then here I'm going to put the mobile number for the chairperson. You can put for the secretary or whoever they wish to put, okay? Just ask them for the number. Here I'm going to put the email. Make sure you put here the right email because they need to send the OTP on this email. So make sure you type the right email. So I'll just type at gmail.com. Right. Then I'll say OK and then again OK. And then I'll click, uh, sorry, I'll click on send OTP. Then before I check the OTP, there are a few things I need to add down here. So I'll come, uh, do you understand the data privacy? Even if you don't understand, just say I understand. Here, click no, you don't have an alternative uh, address. And then this part is grayed out. So that means we are not going to uh, fill here because you cannot be able to do that. 
You can just read through, but you will not fail. So do you wish to declare your bank account for tax refunds? Um, let me just say no. So you will just click here to select no and then come down here you need to choose an economic activity there are various economic activities in here you need to ask the group members what do they do when then they let you know what they do that is what you're going to input so these uh, my friends are doing agriculture and forestry so i'm going to look for agriculture and forestry and choose it then the group and description is grayed out so i'll move to type and then choose it as primary. And then all I need to do now is to click on add. So I'll just click, yeah, okay, just click on add. Then it will be added just like that. Was your business formed as a result of acquisition or amalgamation? Even if you don't understand this hard English, just <laughs> you need just to click no, because at the first place you don't understand the English. <laughs> And then here it's where you're going to upload the zipped folder. So click here and search for it and uh, voila, just like that. Click next. In here, uh, all I need to do is to check the box for income tax. And uh, I really wanted this to read today's date. So all I need to do is to go back to basic information and change the date. So I'll come here and change the business commencement date to today's date, which is 08 01-2024. Then when I'll click on obligation, you find that it has already changed. If it does not change, just come back here and click on next so that it updates automatically and you need to check it. If it doesn't, you can even write it by yourself, just like what I'm doing here, 08 2024 There are many ways you can do that. Then all you need to do is now to scroll down here and then click on next. And on this page, it's where we are now going to put the office bearers. So click here and choose other. And then right here, chair lady. No, I prefer chairperson. Just write chairperson. And here I'm going to put the uh, KRA pin for the chair lady. So just type in very correctly. And uh, all right, let me just confirm from the KRA pin. Okay. All right, then click OK, and then it will load her details. All I need to do is to click on Add so that she be added on that very list, all right? Then I'll scroll back here and add the second office bearer, who is the secretary. So I'll just type in secretary, and then I'm going to add the KRA pin for the secretary. OK, just like all right, that. And then it will load her details. I'll click on add. And then lastly, I'm going to add the treasurer. So I'll click other and type in treasurer, just like that. And then I'm going to put the KRA pin for the treasurer, which starts with A and then followed by these digits. Um, not seeing clearly, okay, 48909, right, then L. Then it will load the information. All I need to do is to click on add. Then after that, I'll click next. And here I'm not going to fill anything apart from the arithmetic. 85 minus 7, that is 78, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Then click submit. It's giving me an error. I need to go and change it to, it was June. Okay. And then I'll just confirm that the details are right. Make sure that everything you feel here is right. If you feel something wrong, it's going to uh, be a mess to the, to the group or the CBO. So make sure everything is okay. Then just click on next. Here the date is fine. Okay. All I need to do is to click next. Here um, the office bearers, I think I added all of them. Okay. The three of them. Then click Next, here um, the, the arithmetic is fine. Just click on submit. Then they will let you know that you are registering this email as your primary email. If it is fine, just click OK. Uh, I did not put the OTP, so I need to go and put it on. It was on the basic information, if I'm not wrong. All right, let me just retype the email, uh, the email address. Make sure it is the right email address because they need to send that OTP. So just like that. And then I'll say it's okay. Send 
OTP. Then all I need to do is to check the email. All right. It's already sent. So I'll just open this email and yeah, we have the code here. I'll come and put it here. And then I'll just confirm everything else is intact. Click next. The date is fine. Click next. And here the three associates or the three office bearers are there. So all I need to do is to click next. Here the arithmetic is fine. Click submit. They will also tell you that this is the primary email. If it is OK, click OK, then click OK to submit. Then you'll wait a few seconds as it is processing. All right, it is now complete. We have now the acknowledgement receipt. All you need to do is to download it. You can send it to the client if they are away from you. You can also print it. So for me, I'm going to print it because the client is here. She needs to have the acknowledgement receipt. And this acknowledgement receipt shows that the application was a success, all right? That is what it means. If you do not show the acknowledgement receipt, then that shows that you haven't applied for that PIN. So once the application is complete, KRA are going to work on that application. They will check the documents. That is the most important thing they check. And if they find that maybe one document is missing, so say like maybe the minutes are missing or the constitution is missing, they will email you back and tell you that the application was not a success and they will give you the reason why that application was not successful. So all you need to do is to read through, find where the problem was. Maybe if you did not attach the minutes, then they will ask you to reapply. Then the reapplication is the same, same process that I've shown you. You need to go through the process, then make sure that the document that you had not submitted is in that zipped folder. And after that, you are going to submit. But if you did everything correctly the way I've done, they will email you and tell you, congratulations, your KRA PIN has been processed. All you need to do is now to download that KRA PIN certificate and you can send it to the client if they are away from you or you can basically print that and give them a hard copy if they came in person. So my friend, I hope that this video helped you. And if that is the case, please make sure that you like this video and also share it to your friends and family and those whom you know, maybe they want to learn how to apply for a career pin for a group, a CBO or an association. And this video, I'm sure it's going to be of great help to them. Otherwise, I hope that I will see you in the next video. And until then, make sure that you keep creating. Peace.